This is calculator question number 34 from the March 2019 SAT. College Board gives us an equation and describes the situation. This is an object launched from a platform. They want to know what time, how many seconds after it's launched, does the object reach the ground. Since this is height above the ground, this reaches the ground when the height is zero. Negative 16t squared plus 64t plus 80 equals zero. If I were sensible, I would solve this on the calculator. Enter that expression into y equals. Try the standard window, and I get a graph that looks something like this, where this is x equals negative 1, and this is x equals positive 5. Since the x-intercepts are at negative 1 and positive 5, where I've typed in x for t, that means the times the object is at the ground, according to the math, are t equals negative 1, which first of all, we can't grid in a negative number, so that's wrong. Second, I don't believe the rocket hit the ground before it was launched. Or t equals positive 5, which 5 seconds after being launched is reasonable, and we are capable of gridding that in. So 5 would be the correct answer. If I wanted to do this by hand, which I would only do for fun, I certainly wouldn't take the time on the SAT unless my battery is done. I would factor out a negative 16, and that leaves me with t squared. 16 times 4 is 64, so minus 4t. And 16 times 5 is 80, so minus 5 equals 0. Since negative 16 is not 0, I know that the quadratic is 0. I'm going to factor it. t and t plus and minus. Two numbers, the product is 5. Negative 5, the difference is negative 4, so the 5 would be negative and a 1 would be positive. So if a product e equals 0, the first factor is 0. t plus 1 equals 0, subtract 1 from both sides. t equals negative 1, which I found on the graph. Or if the first factor is not 0, the second factor is 0. t minus 5 equals 0, add 5 to both sides. t equals 5, and t equals 5 would be the answer we're looking for. College Board often asks you to solve a quadratic equation, which is what I was doing here. I'll post a link to related videos in the comments or description of this video. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.